G'day, how you going? My name is Tech. Welcome to my channel, Bootlosophy. I come to you from Wajuk country in Perth, Western Australia, and I acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land. Now today, something a little different. I'm reviewing a bag, a leather uh, bag from Indonesia, from the brand called Kravar. This is their FC13 bag. This is the Kravar FC13 uh, from Indonesian bag makers Kravar. Uh, it's owned by uh, the owner Yoki, who's an extremely friendly guy, and you can contact him uh, through his Instagram page uh, under Kravar, or you can look at their website, which is an extremely functional, really well-organized website. Uh, this is made from Indonesian veg tanned leather, which uh, Yoki has organized and, and actually uh, asked his friend to make for him. Uh, and it's a local design, specially um, uh, designed by Yoki uh, to create this uh, very functional sort of briefcase satchel bag. This is the FC13 and the FC series. They also have them in 15 inches and 11 inches and in different leathers, in darker leathers. And I also believe they have a canvas sort of type version of this. So let's go through this uh, uh, in terms of functionality and what, what you get. So, very thick uh, Indonesian veg tan leather. Uh, this one is in a color called sand. Um, it has these two straps that go, in fact, all the way around the bag. Uh, so it's actually uh, two single straps, not sewn to anything other than the fixing points. It has a flap, obviously. Um, it has a carrying handle off to the side because it's uh, not on top. Uh, I think for a couple of reasons. One, it's, it's a lot sleeker and slimmer. And the other is you then don't have to have a, a reinforcing metal band across the top. On the rear side, you have this pass-through uh, for when you're carrying it on your roll-on luggage. And there is a full-length um, magazine sleeve here. The straps... These are actually quite amazing. They're very, very thick straps, but they they're also um, have no metal on metal. If you look at that buckle, this thing has a buckle that goes through this piece of hardware so that there's no actually jangling of metal and metal. In fact, if you look here, listen to that, it's all leather, it's not metal. The uh, shoulder pad is carved. You can see these uh, I hope they come through in this light. They have these slits carved in them so that they actually fold one way. Very often when you buy new uh, bags, the shoulder pads are as stiff as a board. You stick them on your shoulder and nothing happens. But this curves beautifully. Opening up the bag, they, have, uh, they don't have buckles. They've got these little uh, brass uh, catches. And basically you pop them out, pull it out. Initially, when the leather is really stiff, I've had this for a, about a year now, I think. I bought them in, uh, when did I buy them? September 2021, I think. Um, when I initially bought them, the leather was very stiff and, and um, closing this, this sort of closure system was actually quite tricky. But now that it's worn, um, it's lovely and soft and supple. You'll find that the flat is folded over on the edges, which is a nice touch because often what happens when you have a straight flap is it's not very rainproof. But in this case, they've covered it over so that it is um, uh, definitely moisture proof. Once you open the bag, uh, you see this synthetic canvas style uh, lining. It's a really lovely red color. And inside is one big compartment. This is a 13 inch, by the way. Uh, so it, it fits a 13-inch MacBook or an, any other laptop. So it has uh, one large compartment, inside of which there is a side pocket. Um, I've actually punched a hole and attached a little uh, clip through there to keep my keys. All of this lined sumptuously by this uh, uh, acrylic kind of uh, canvas material. Um, there are two external side pockets which are covered by that flap. But when you open them, there are two external side pockets, both of them also lined with that red, and it's full, fully leather back. There's no sort of saving of leather on the inside. 
couple of features. I told you about the um, uh, non-metal and metal on catches. There is no metal touching metal anywhere on this. I think if you want it to run silent, run deep, this is the bag to go with. Second feature, um, everything is made with single pieces of leather. There's one piece of leather that goes all the way around. These two bags is one piece of leather that's sort of folded on itself and then sewn here so you don't have multiple weak points. Uh, each weak point has a brass uh, clasp or, or handle or whatever you call it, rivet. And um, you, I've already told you about this single piece of leather strap that goes all the way around and, and really sort of reinforces it so that when you're carrying it, you don't have any weak points where they're attached to other parts of the bag. Uh, it's, it's at the 13 inch size, you can get the 15 inch. It easily carries my MacBook um, 13. Uh, it easily carries all the cords, a couple of magazines, a couple of files. Uh, I can put my sunglasses and other sort of EDC in the side pockets. And if I didn't want to bother with opening, there's always a uh, magazine flap at the, at the back. Again, the inside of the magazine pack is um, leather. There's no sort of skimping by making this material. There is also, if you see this little piece, there's also a magnetic clasp for safety reasons. Really terrific, well thought out. And as I said, the owner Yoki is an extremely friendly guy. Uh, he's great on social media. He re responds to your emails very quickly, um, easy to get on with and easy to make some changes with if you want it. So, um, I've had this, as I've said, for about a year. I use it every other week to take to the office. I have traveled with it, which I find um, extremely functional with this uh, pass-through that I've got. It's actually um, not that light because it's, it's really good, thick, veg tanned leather. The leather has softened considerably since I've owned it. Um, and, you know, I, I expect it to get better and better as it goes. Not much patina showing at the moment because I haven't exposed it to weather or, or greases other than my greases from my hand. And that's sort of showing a little bit. Um, but I fully expect it to patina as we go. So there you go, guys. That's my review of the Cravat FC13 bag. Um, I really find it a, a perfect EDC all-round bag uh, that I can carry to work or, or just go out and, and have my EDC gear in it. Uh, it fits in the computer uh, really perfectly for my, for my Apple Mac. Um, if you like this review, I hope you subscribe because there'll be plenty more reviews about leather goods, but in particular boots, because this is called Bootlosophy, right? Um, and don't forget to click on the like button because some people who have already subscribed get these uh, videos pop up and they forget to click on like, which tells me how you like me. <laughs> All right. So until then, take care and I'll see you soon.